Hi, and welcome to this week's edition of the Rugged Rundown. And today I'm going to talk about a few common issues with the, t uh, with the tough book FZG2. This is Panasonic's latest and greatest. And did I say common issues? Well, the issues that I'm going to bring up are very minor because as you know by my other videos about this, this tablet, laptop, tablet, hybrid, whatever you want to call it, uh, I think it's fantastic and it's a great upgrade that Panasonic has at, uh, included. But there are a couple of things and the first thing I'm going to mention is the touchpad. So the touchpad on this keyboard is very hard to use. Uh, it's not as easily use, used as is on the other tough books that I've dealt with. This one you really got to push down. It doesn't bode well when you're moving the mouse around. It's almost better to use the touch screen whenever you're, you, when you need to navigate. The other interesting issue that I found, and I've even done some reading on the web about this in different forums, the screen is such a high resolution screen, but yet the screen is so small that whenever you have it at, at its normal resolution, you have to squint to, to see the words. You actually have to magnify the, the size of the text in order to be able to see it at that resolution, which the higher the resolution, typically, normally, the larger the screen. So there's always a, a a happy medium between resolution and screen size and I think Panasonic overdid the resolution on this screen. The other issue that I have with this tablet, hybrid laptop, whatever you want to call it, is the weight. Number one, it's about almost five pounds complete. Also the price. I mean, is this worth four thousand dollars? with upgrades, if you were to upgrade anything, memory, hard drive, whatever, you're going to be moving into that $3,500 to $4,500 price range. And that's something you got to consider when buying a tablet like this. Uh, you can easily find competitors with the same kind of capability that are going to be less expensive. Competitors would be like the GTAC or Durabooks offering. They're going to be less expensive than the, than the tough book FZG2 but of this tablet that's the issues I have with it like I said they're they're not anything that should prompt you to say well I can't buy that because no matter how you slice and dice it this is a very cool tablet but that's all I got for you today don't forget to subscribe and like this video and I'll see you guys next week